news in South Africa's number one sport. SABC2 says enough is enough. Stop woman abuse now. Samuna, welcome to Daily Teta Ika Malamu. Kini nonke waga shandu. Enamsla nje skubega noslele sage saba nalo. Sabo isa vala sa shia pants. Uzo kumbla gatwe. Talking about broken men. And is ningin teza vela. Because some of them, baba shayelu guti. Because ankulanga na baza albami. Yole nte engenza nkine nginto yona. Role models was one of his in teza vela. But namsla nje wana find out exactly guti. Yini gase gase. I identity om to esli sayin. How can we do better? Si wa banta bang ngona bang run run motel. Ango nyoana empagatini. Na senga nene nzeti. If lolu Give us a call. It's 011 339 1315. The hashtag is Daily Theta. Katogi and Otelega Moli Mezan Lao Sisu Ufochi Wagamalala. The flat? Yeah, Kini, it's been a very emotional conversation since Itomile last week up until this week. Having to carry on the conversation, Aruna, yeah. because I think for us women personally, Arahona go grea or na rizin ika ya or banana barate barmagedi punching bag. And as you saw in the insert, it's saying that. Woman abuse yeah. has become the number one sport in this country. But so that we must move on. So that we must move on. So that we move on. If we move on, we must move on. So that we must move on. we are broken, the society itself it is broken. That's what we're going to be taking on Snugena as well. Definitely. You know, for me, the biggest problem is my fear. I can have Anna right now. And I'm just worried about the future of Rukibeli Bana, Kibelere, knowing that either the young boy or the young girl yeah. might be a perpetrator or might be a victim. Mm -hmm. But let's welcome our studio audience and start our conversation. Just to jump straight into it, Sia, Kini has already said last week you said to us that the society problem. Can you perhaps maybe elaborate a little bit more on that? Yes, thank you very much. So as I said last week that the society is a problem and, and what I said was when you're going to talk about a broken man, you need to talk about the society as a whole that is mm. broken. I said that last week that masculinity is not static. It's not something that is set and that is standing here waiting for someone to occupy it. Mm. It's something that is changing every day. What it means to be a man today is not the same as being a man 100 years ago and mm. it need to move with the times. And then when you talk about socialization, when a child grows up, that is when you start this, the same time they say it's a boy or umfana. That is when you start making a man. Mm. And I said you don't make a man in four weeks mm. after uh, ignoring 20 years of, of toxic socialization. So during that, that process of socialization, that is where a boy negotiates his identity into mm. becoming a man. Now, a lot of things happen during this, this socialization process. And now, if we are going to say uh, this child grows up in the presence of both men and women, then that says to you the problem that we have, it is the society. And I made example of one person. There is a woman today somewhere in a township who is protecting his, uh, her son. Now, that, that son, uh, she knows very well that that son is an abuser, mm. that son is a rapist, is a robber, is a what what, but she is protecting him because that son is a what? Is, is a breadwinner. Now, that is a woman at fault there. But what we are saying is that we are not shifting a blame to women only, we are not shifting a blame to men only. Yes, men are broken, but it is the society that is broken. These men are not raised in a Wakanda men village only. Mm. It is, a, it is a, a societal issue. So if we are going to deal with it, we must take collective responsibility, both men and women. That is why when we formed, not in my name, uh, the movement, we said we are not rapists, we are not abusers, but we cannot be bystanders. So as a society, we must take collective responsibility. That is where my stance was, and that is what I'm willing to elaborate going further today. Right. Kini, I think it's a very interesting stance because this society, is, it's the same society where women are being brought up. So how then do we change the status quo if men are the ones that are being justified yeah. to act out? When we're talking, Nicole, we show something, Oguti. Sometimes, our best Lisa, they're abusing Abantu Besfazane. It's by no peer, Oguti, no, I didn't have my role models. I didn't have Obaba next to me. But, Babu Chowi, why are we still now having the clashes bambele like your neck I didn't have this, I didn't have that. How, why can't we move on see the role models, Tina, instead of blaming the past? Well, I wouldn't be talking about other people. As for myself, I'm a role model myself. I've mm. got boys mm. that I actually took from childhood to men. You know, they don't have to be my biological kids. Yeah. I've got boys that I'm mentoring into marriage. Mm. I've got boys that I'm actually teaching them to be men, to mm. be, you know, respective men. But, you know, the, the things that we go through in the, in the township, yeah. I, I want to be honest. These young men are, allowed, are under a lot of pressure. 
what, what because of our expectations. Mm. For instance, mm. when I talk to my husband, my arno, he girl left job, he girl left boyfriend. The first question, my arno, is that we have been married for seven years. You understand? Mm. It's an expectation. Mm. Some of us are not employed. But th does that mean uh, so much abuser because there's so much pressure? The problem is some of the mothers are actually running their daughters' lives behind our backs. Mm. Let's be honest with that one. Mm. Some of the things that the girls are saying to their partners, it's not them, it's somebody behind them. Okay, uh, if I'm uh, going to ask you a quick one. A quick one, uh, Lerato, Abu hmm. uh, if, if, if you go back to that natural state of being, hmm. whether or not you had any influence from anywhere, hmm. you don't subscribe to any of those things. Hmm. Because naturally when you love, you love. Hmm. So you will not raise your hand to any person. You will not say anything unbecoming to any person. Hmm. Indeed, hmm. You'll either end up in jail, you'll either end up killing yourself, you'll either end up being divorced, mm. end up in all these negative connotations. So the, the, the underlying factor is going back to basics. How belewa into a loving world? Continue living into that loving world. How you will you will forever distribute mm. Okay, um, I, I don't know about this, uh, Nicolette, but you have to say that 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 you have to this, you have that, you have and everything. How do you teach you to say that? I think, in, you know, Vela Wamshia, and if we're going to speak mm. about the fact that people grow without mm. fathers, we have to also be we must be in light of the fact that the father left, mm. right? But let's talk a little bit about equality. Are men and women equal in our society today? Indeed, uh, thanks for the opportunity, Ucho uh, I do believe that men and women are equal, both in, in, in worth and in value. Uh, the only thing is that our culture tells us that men are superior to women. What culture is this? That tells uh, well, us it, this? It, it, it's various cultures. You find it with the Zulus, you find it with the Khosas and other tribal groups within our country. But also, it's perpetuated in the, in the, in the, in the industry, in the corporate SA, etc. Mm. But you also find the misinterpretation of the Bible as well. The Bible that I read, I'm a Christian also, in the very first chapter of the Bible, in the book of Genesis, it does say that man, and man there doesn't refer to gender, it refers to a human being. Mm. It says man shall have dominion over, and it gives a list, man shall have dominion over the beds of the air, fish in the water, vegetation, animals on the ground, etc. But that list does not include another human being. And as soon as we come to grips with that and accept the fact that the, the other person in our lives is just as important and as valuable as us, the better we are. Without that understanding, then the misconception would be that uh, they are here to serve me, they are here to be confined to some space, and they are subject to abuse and mm. vulnerable to that also. Mm. And Kini, I think that's what we need to also be tackling, this idea of male supremacy. This idea that men are supposed to be superior in the family house because it's been perpetuated by an interpretation of culture or religion. Let's find out on social media, we talk about Martin about this, and uh, something coming in from Ukul Oti. Um, the problem starts with isolating men from society at large. We are living in a broken society, and it started uh, long ago when our grandfathers were forced to resolve uh, apartheid conflict with the violence. Uh, now, that is uh, the only way we know at home and in our communities as well. I don't know what you think of today's show, but I'm sure you have something to say. Give us a call. It's 011-339-1315. Sizu kutu wena mzampu ngomu nyo matbesli so kala ya guti. Kona inta mfunugi podla. Ngoche lalala la mshanja. Samin se prekin sabu after this. Welcome back to Daily Tata. I'm Sanjay Bega. Isiku Sendota. Nano Guti. Yines Ngayenzu Guzeskazu. Kakisela Bante Makaya. Nabantu Ana as well Guti. Indota Yini Gashiga. Shesnas told Sektuala Guti. We indota Ingo to Seven Zisa. Amanda Ako. Exumez and Abany. Let's find out on social media to Bantu Batini. About to Tabla. I'm Sanjay. Something come from Uzim Kita Meke Uti. They broke themselves by filling their heads with the stupidity that Indota Ifula Mfazi. Lenti Kala Umunte Sesa Ingana Biza Manto Mazani Ngamakama. And forget that the person who brought him uh, to life was a woman. Abazal has a big impact because if your brother did you wrong, they will say, Nyege, Goba Umfa. Again, uh, do you think Guti is seamless beginning as a young man? Abazaliba contribute and Abuakulga as a chain in Barres Umfa and Angela, Eshugil and Umtus Fazan? 
Eh, ngiawa ngakini. Eh, they do actually. Eskatnes nengi. Sisala na bomba eka. Yeah. And it inguze pa pelin gangan. Umose watatuang ban wa musa itempelin gafaro in the palace. It was a woman. Yeah. Umose wakulisa uban. It was a woman. It was never mentioned by Pelin, but what means you a woman. So now in the Fungu, Aban Besfazan, they have a most important role to play in a man's life. Which is what Nagayo Betelos Pamba mean, Umfaz the king, what you won't crucify that man. And then when Zan Wakezi Zan Zawati, I will never crucify this man. Yeah. You decide what to do. Mm. It was a woman who pushed that. Mm. So Aban Besfazane today, they have a very important role to play mm. in society mm. and to save the male seat and to change the, the, the way we think as mm. men. Quick one, before say uh, back to Nicolette, I want to find out, do you think Kuti Aban Besfazane by a role in Jengamash? By a Zala Patina, Jengaban to Lisa as Bavumeli. When they do that, we think they are bruising our ego. Mm. They want to control us. Nabaschela kuti senze in. Ngwelekteni. It's not what you say. It's how you say it. Okay. Yen zela ba ishonga ayu. Tina besa si tate ngati. Lomfaz lofun gun control. Lomfaz lofun guti ngenze lenta ifunai. Okay. Nicolette, let's go to you. All right. It's interesting. We're having the conversation on the couch. We're joined by Sierra Bulele Gentile and Tate William Gomezulu. But before we come back to the couch, we do have anonymous on the call. Tate Gomezulu, you remember as the young lady we spoke to last week. Abe Allah, Arabota Horwa, talking. Mona Kuntlu, Wamo Shapa. Awu Silikai? Rona Mama. Awu Arabota Horwa, since last week, u Khonne Khoya Ko Maponi Seng. Obula case. No, give a little Mr. William and Commissioner to me, a college. Eh, oh, oh, no, to some mamma. Oh, hm, I said it's not a man, you can't get it. Okay, so even though I don't know when I never took a young, eh, but. And right now, who say if you foul in thing? For now, he says, because you move out. Oh, you're not moving out. You're not moving out. Okay. And Kopala, what is on to a one? If today, because studio, do you live in a fella? What is the one thing you were talking about, Kayona, and how you felt when this man was beating you up? Mm. They have to respect a woman. When I did not get into the Lord and Monacabi and Hakuni Bibon, but with a woman next to him, I got one now with the resolution in Chi, I got one of one life a better. Because Mona, I got to know our mother, I do one with the other one. Okay, Ralabora also. Thank you. Coming back to the couch, and then we appreciate at least moving her from the space that she was in to where she is now. But perhaps maybe Ariwaka, the psyche of a man, maybe Rona as Basadi, we are not understanding. I think we have to even go start very far. In try and you would understand what the land of the urban. The definition has shifted, you know, mm. quite a lot. Mm. <clears throat> so in the in the past, but we would think that maybe show masculinity take charge now. Mm. Currently, in that AC corner, so we question would be confusion. Mm. It's not well defined. We would um, come to be in that danger. So if we go to a go, we be in that. What, what is meant? What is meant by that? Because mm. his role has has changed. Mm. His role, young daughter, is facing the reemergence of a woman's role, and, and a powerful. So, how does a man now navigate the le, le role now? Mm. And it's extremely difficult if the, the man, being a man, what does what does it mean? Mm. There is a confusion from his society in terms of what is meant by the word daughter. We about daughter. What really does that mean? Mm. Uh, because man, the word daughter, who what is going to be used as a man of God, is going to be used as a man of God. So, in in daughter today, 
Um, what is it exactly that we're battling with? If we're talking about the ego of this man, what are we talking about? Because it has shifted, you know, you know, quite a lot. The pride, less Kulumangayo, in IEP contribution, you know, currently mm. in terms of um, challenges that, that are there. So what you often find with it, that confusion, a corner, it plays itself out in my relationships now. Because we're talking about people who get into relationships, bang, are ready. Right, bang as with you know, like relationship, but all that they know, with there's a pressure from the society, with uh, you supposed to behave like this. So, me uh, so so not 21, so not 25, but I'm not, I'm not ready. So, the fact that we go to school and uh, intellectually, yes, we're ready, but emotionally, we're not. But, but, so, but, but, you say, Hore, Wakatawala Hore. The, the, the definition of Mulna has now been conflicted and been confused because there are so many different expectations yes. from society, yes. family, whatever yes. it is, all right? Yes. Are we still then not playing to the original stereotypes of what a man should be, hence the confusion? Because Well, it's from Fabeg. You look at our you look at our traditions so in, a, in a culture mm. and our messages that we have been getting from that yes right these things have been told over a period of time and they've become inculcated very in in a man's psyche oh, these are the expectation this is what it means to be a man so if we are to undo that right conversations are masha and those part of the conversation would um, we should not as men tell women right would in daughter Maybe we should also hear from women. Really, So that would mean when there are conversations, we'll find out what is the man that we're actually looking for, you know, currently. Because I think sometimes we have this voice for mm. women, right? But we're not hearing what women are saying, what is exactly that we want. All right, so yeah, can you perhaps maybe join yeah. the conversation? And, and what I'm trying to understand, this idea of feminism that has risen. I mean, mm -hmm. feminism has been there for quite some time now, fighting for women's rights. Has it now become so confused with not necessarily fighting for the rights of women, but now mm -hmm. trying to emasculate men? Mm. Well, honestly, Nicolette, I wouldn't want to comment much on, on feminism as, as, as a movement. <laughs> uh, those who, who are my friends on social media will know why yeah. I'm, saying, I'm saying that. Yeah. But anything that is for the emancipation and for freedom of women and children, I am for it. Uh, although I don't agree with some of the things in the, uh, that they say. But what I want to say is, I look to, the, to what, to what uh, uh, my learned colleague here was saying. Mm. You see, if you want to solve a problem, you must connect the dots going backwards. Okay. What we are doing now, Tina, we take a man who's abusive, we arrest them, we do what, we talk to boys, don't do this, don't do that. We're not going to solve the problem. Okay. We must go backwards and find out what is the problem, what, 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 what uh, 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 transpired, what made this psyche of violence masculinity to happen. You take it very far. You, you see, some people, especially this feminists you talk about, they think now, uh, uh, because they, they know this way is misogyny, patriarchy, you know, mm. these things start now. They don't start now. You need to go far, far back. Mm. That's why when, when William Lynch uh, 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 was writing about slavery. He mm. said, let us break the man. Let us, let us translate his natural state of mind and take it backwards. Let us beat him up. Let us kill him in front of the black woman. Let us sub separate them. Well, now, what, what is going to happen is that the black woman is going to raise a weak man, a, a strong man physically, but is weak mentally. Mm. That is going to create a culture of... In the, of, 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 of is that not currently happening that already? Is, it, I'm telling you where it started, mm. it, where it comes from. And mm. if you want to, 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 to solve the current state of men mm -hmm. that we all claim that men are broken that is where we must take it mm -hmm. because again it speaks to the socialization no one is born violent you can you can go to your hospital now to Paraguanath and say this one is going to be a killer no mm -hmm. no one is born broken no one is born angry mm -hmm. there's no man who, who, who's born and say Mina, when I grow up I'm going to kill someone mm -hmm. something happens during the process and that is the process that we don't want to talk about mm -hmm. because when men talk about what bothers them it's saying it's excuses and it's not excuse we first need to describe the difference between an excuse and a reason you see if I drink alcohol and I beat you up the excuse is that I was drunk but the reason is that I drank alcohol mm -hmm. now you must not crucify men based on the excuses 
you must find out what is the reason why they do the Can I ask you do. one question before we go for a quick ad break? And I want a very brief answer. Give to understand who is supposed to tackle this, this, this problem? Who is supposed to go back this many years it is, to understand? It is, is, the, it the, it is the society. It okay. is the men. It is the women. It is all gender. But do you think the perpetrator is willing to do that? But again, the perpetrator, who is the perpetrator? We've got mm -hmm. a perpetrator, we've got a potential perpetrator, we've got a perpetrator who's a perpetrator but by, 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 virtue of by virtue of being a bystander. Yes. That is why I'm saying when we started Not In My Name, we said everyone come through. Yeah. You must not kill the perpetrator, you yes. must rehabilitate them. If they can't be rehabilitated, them, take them to prison. But this conversation must be had by both the perpetrator, the potential perpetrator, the victim, the survivor, everyone, to say, let us come together and see how we can deal with our past so that we can effectively take our future. All right. Let's also find out from Yugo to Tina Patuta, but I'm Sanjay. Let's see something from Kutato Ote. This problem started many years ago when men were only heads of the house and leaders, and the power that was given to them turned them into women beaters. Men were raised to be strong and to always solve problems with hands. The only thing that broke men are laws that were set under, uh, the, uh, under the tree by old men in our village. I don't know what you, you agree with that. We're going to be chatting more about that. As I'm say, break in Sabu after this. Welcome back to Daily Tetons. The society of Navarna and Bona South Africa today. Are they broken? Do they know who they are? Do they recognize their identities? And has the South African identity of a man become a wife beater, a woman beater, a partner beater, a child killer? Is that what we're really going to accept? But joining us on the conversation is Tate Beki Mloy. Welcome to Daily Teta. Guinea, I want to just, I want to throw an analogy. Yeah. Because what it feels to me is sometimes we speak about racism. Yeah. And we speak, Rere Mahua are racist, Mahua it's a one, two, three, four. And then Mahua don't want to get involved in the conversation because, but you know what? At the end of the day, we are the ones that are benefiting from it. Yeah. Are men benefiting from this patriarchy that gives them the power over a woman? I think that's a good question, but I'll throw it straight to Ubabu Tabete, Tulan Tabete. What do you think of the question, Nicolette um, Jangamach? Two, two things. I think, number one, uh, I have to emphasize the point that was raised by the gentleman to say, Chantile. yeah, mm. we, we have to really, really understand the magnitude of the problem that we're dealing with. Mm. And I think if we're going to tackle the problem just basing it on, uh, on what's famous, on what's on people's lips, we're not really going to get to the core of it. Mm. Black people, black men, black women understand who Willie Lynch is and what it did to us. Because until we get to that, we will never get to really understanding the magnitude of what we're dealing with. This thing was orchestrated. And if it was orchestrated, it means somebody set it to be in a certain way. Going a step further, from Willie Lynch, Farwood took it. And he did what we see now in South Africa. The male seed was meant to feel and be what it seems to be currently. So with that said, I'd like to feel it's it, 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 until a man uh, and until we understand how this was put together, we will never be able to deal with it. I don't just want to look at the question based on just a man and a woman. Mm. I want people to really understand the magnitude of the problem that we're dealing with. Before when we had a show uh, last week, um, one of the things that come was the issue of role models. Uh, Uguti, uh, these boys, we, we raise women so much that they even a campaign, so take a girl child to work. But we, uh, Lisa, the boys are neglected and we expect, expect them to raise themselves. And not only do we do that, but then we popularize all the negative and the bad things that males do. Mm. If we only spoke about the good that males do as much as we speak about the bad that they do, mm. I think we'll have a different type of man. Mm. So with that said, Guinea, I must say, it's very important, it is very important for us to understand that um, in mentoring a boy, in mentoring just a girl child mm. and leaving the boy child out of the equation, mm. we're still perpetuating the problem. Mm. We have to get to a point where if we want a man to change, we need to bring out the best in man. Okay. 
As far as to social media, uh, there's something com coming from Ulavne Sedlamini. Uti minanje, I think, lamato tasha abafazi. Bese bat inkinga, guba ba kula benge naba bazali. Sugenje, besho lise, ngoba umu utata ubega. Abashai abanyi abantu beslisa. Bashai atina, ngoba mchutisi lula. I don't know uh, about that. Gwe uh, tuwa maugutu nge mpeli ndo tika iskila. Ayo e renge fige ituge ama tota se renge. Izo guzo agutu. Zeki. Ntenjan. Ukasuga guti ntenjan. Babomlo. Yeah. I don't know what you think about that. I'm wrong. You're up in the foot. I'm going to tell you. Izol, you need to do it for 10 years. Come on. You need to do it for a girlfriend. You need to do it for a girlfriend. You need to do it for a girlfriend. Because you don't know why. These things are still happening. We are busy with the dialogues. And we are gathering here to say, one thing that we need to understand, as much as I agree with brothers, with in history it will be happy. But if you take a kenjin mosha and go skas, if you take a say kenjin mosha, the most social ills are seen now. In the last night, I think that there's a problem when we look shifty play. It is this woman. Go back to Adam who's also talking about menzan. Magat is this woman who's talking about you are responsible. Go back to Abraham. Magat is talking about you are responsible. Listen to your wife. We are going back again. South African women, men, we are broken. Mm. And as we are broken, we need to find a solution on that. Let's call them Biaguso, the school of thought and Biaguso. But when they say, I'm not going to be fun, but we are going to be in Dodana. The little Camelit in Dodana is a question. In Dodana, every man who is in the Pagat Goy, it's a question of President Piloyak. Are you a man? Magak Tugumfazi, will you act like a man? What is, what is acting like a man? If yes, yes. <laughs> acting like a man, it's when you... Lala, it's simo si kona nasu. Ama to damani mwa shulego akiyo na bafaza fagimundi. Yebo. Ama to damani yung abalega besa zifika pezu gomuna zifika sondu ina zifika ngani. Ubu tota, yungwa ondo na mati sishino watata. So uwa nukuti longzo mbulala, longzo mezeja. We are not gathering here to say women are perfect, women are good. Yes. But we are here to solve in the abama to atukuti. Angry men produce rebellious women. Mm. That is why I was busy with this trash. They are rebellious because our the, the, the issue of South Africa is not cool. Because you cannot withdraw where you've never deposited. Because you can't withdraw where you've never deposited. But you can in the damn decision, you go to massacre acting alone there. La, can you scratch out the tool? No, we won't need to call la. No, the tool I go to ngoba. The tool I go to ngulungul will be on your side. There are things, so we want to push things. Who said we own women? Who said we own women? We raise even our boys' children. Then we are here to say this women bala ngabandoana. Let me tell you, me ngabandoana ba me ngabandoana ngabone after eleven years. To sit down with them. Why? Must I be the if you remember that? Okay. Thing. Must I be a, 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 a cry baby? Aksubu daughter. Ubu daughter is a decision. Iko ni daughter chi minumvazo amazanga happy Father's Day. And so what? this thing it's orchestrated because it, it, it really frustrates me it's orchestrated and it comes from the past yes but in the past it was never about hurry it's being orchestrated which means that it's a direct consequence now of the way men have been feeling about how they've been uh, molded by the past apartheid everything else why then like the question from loveness why then is your anger directed towards a woman why as Kini said Usaiko ranking why are you going to the weak person? Can I answer that? Are you it's asking uh, me? Okay. I'm just asking anybody. It's, um, oh, okay. it's a displacement. You okay. know, when sometimes une anger, sometimes it gets to be displaced. And it by displaced in the way in La Pobona, you can go to Angege Uze Utole backlash. Mm. Right? So it's an easy, easy way you would manage to very express. I get kumundo zo zo kshaya ngalolo. So there's an easy target. Yes, kuba kona vele into easy easy target. And just to add on that, it's a lie. Uti amatota they only present their anger or their toxic masculinity on women only. Go and look at the statistics. Don't look at femicide only. Look at homicide. We are afraid of men. Tina, men self. Men are killing other men out there. And 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 the way it has become so normal. It's it's like. You know, we focus on men killing women. Mm. It is not that men kill women only. Men kill also. That's why I'm saying, again, we are a violent people. Mm. 
we are violent and 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 and, and it is it is it, i hear what what the, the pastor is saying that what is a man is what is a man what, what is what uh, but, but 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 my, my critique is yeah, that yeah. quickly is that you see you cannot you cannot base your definition of of a man based on a religious co religious construct mm -hmm. or on a belief of christianity i'm a christian but i understand someone does not subscribe to christianity mm -hmm. and if you read the very same bible that the christian the, the christian faith is, is based on you'll see that there are patriarchal aspects on it i'll tell you now ask the the the, the Pastor, when was the last time a woman preached? Mm. Okay, I, I, before and just yeah, I, I think let me go to Babu Ulugza O Uratebela. I think Uratebe, you wanted to, to add something. Bon now say can I call Mangu Nezale in the microphone? Quick one before say breaking. I, I, I want to go back to what uh, because I subscribed to what he said earlier on. Mm. Uh, in Dabayo Guti, um, I subscribed to a philosophy at a life is lived forward. Mm -hmm. but it's understood backwards. Mm -hmm. We cannot deal with the problem today if we don't go back to check what happened then. Mm -hmm. Because if there are things that we have learned, mm -hmm. then we must unlearn them and relearn. Mm -hmm. And how can we do that if we do not diagnose where the problem is? Mm -hmm. So I think what we are facing right now, we're trying, we're trying to deal with the, the consequences, but we are not dealing with the root cause of where we're at. Mm -hmm. And we have to go back. What is the root cause, if I may ask? I, I, there are certain reasons that have been mentioned already yeah. uh, in terms of the makeup of a family. If you look in terms of statistics right now, you'll find that over 160 men are incarcerated. Mm. And, and the number, 120, about 125,000 are black people. Mm. And, and that, that, that's a huge number of people that are in prison. Mm. And, 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 and you, you, you then realize that there is something that, mm. that is wrong within the black community. Barbara Tebe, because yes, of his cartoons, I'm going to tell you about breaking, but I'm going to tell you about the number of people who are as well. As I'm going to say, don't look at me. So, I'm going to talk to you after this. Nena wenko sinzabweli teli teta na manje skulu mapawata. Ama tota zamgui stripa down, find out kuti yini lenkinga esi begini na wegan. Singa muva ganja nse pambile as well. Babura Tebe, you were saying something before se break in a quick one before skuba gano tlan. And I, uh, 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 to continue with where I left off, I think since this is a multifaceted issue, yeah. we look back at how the education system was, was designed. Yeah. And I do believe that we have to get into what I would call a fourfold education system, mm. where we have academic education that prepares people for the corporate world, yeah. cultural education that helps people understand their roots and where they come from, yeah. political education that will help them understand what is it that apartheid did to us as a people. Yeah. And then we have to get into the spirituality of a people. Mm. Because it, 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 if we don't have that higher sense of purpose, mm. we'll always find ourselves taking the energy that we're supposed to use, oh, yeah. doing the right things to do the wrong things. Okay, cool stuff. Let's come back to you, Nicolette. All right, let's go to our calls. <laughs> we are still taking your calls. Call 011-339-1315. Renali Abuti Peter from Pretoria on the line. Dumela Abuti Peter. Hi, guys. Papa. Uh, now I only have like a comment, like it's very short. Can I, but I think you guys will understand it. Mm. The problem that we have is we are not teaching these men how to respond to situation. Instead, we teach them how to react. What are these men? How are they involved? Yeah, are, 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 they, are you not part of those men? What I'm trying to say, yes, what, what yes, the, yeah? yes, the men that we are raising. Okay. These men that we are raising. Yes. Because I'm, I'm a father as well. Okay. So yeah. we, we're saying so, we're not teaching them to? To, re, to respond mm. and not react. Ah, okay. Thank yes. you, Abuti Peter. All right. All right. So on the couch, we're joined by Ndate Tabo Machi. Nicola Dulbula and welcome to Daily Teta. Uh, thank you. instead of instead of I think uh, uh, refers an issue of um, misunderstanding your identity are in relevant okay. right um, I, I mean we can come up with all now on know what I hear it's excuses gentlemen I'm sorry to say that the challenges did to a guy and then where we are today and where we are going mm. I believe as almost you need to make a decision mm. one as men we are failing to find our own identity mm. that is why we are so 
confused so much that we're looking at external factors. They look the influencer who we want to be. Mm. But now, Rona Gaborona, who are we? Nahikili one good zikili one having a conversation with myself. Mm. Who do I say I am? Mm. Let's let's look at uh, uh, simple issues. Sahore, hege thoma ke 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 betham side waka because re afapa na na le na ka 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 dipolelo. That thing it it's got nothing to do with external influence. It's got something to do with the imbalance in na killing yon. I'm in my identity. I'm a man and I'm a male, mm. right? Now, from my man identity, I'm looking at spiritual mental and emotional balance. Mm. I'm, not, I'm trying to get you on this mm. one because are you saying that we shouldn't actually look at the, the root cause of it, we just move on and skalegabusha, not checking what this is why we are like this before we solve that problem? We we have actually been dealing with the root causes. Mm. Last week, if you remember Guinea, best kulumang our root causes. Siawaz lama root causes. But now when do we get to a point we say, guys, who do we want to be from point this to going forward? Mm. Because at the end of the day we keep on addressing the issues of the past we keep on addressing what influenced what influenced us to be who we are but now from a spiritual point Is of that view not a right point though to, no, no. to know exactly the problem but I'm just ask for how long are we going to dwell on the problem mm. because we need solutions right now if we're going to come here as men and gather and still talk about the very same problems mm. that we've been talking about it's not going to help what i'm saying is who do i want to be as a man mean from now on mm. who where do i find my identity so. as a man spiritual point baba you know what unkunkul gives us our our, our identity mm. now i have to look at if i need to create a balance yeah. whereby i don't focus more on the male part of me because the male part needs control needs power and whenever the male is emotionally challenged he just want to fight back that is how we i, I, are. I don't know whether we have male and male yeah. yeah, they do. Where do they look for help? And and from our organizations, for instance, the mm. Lead Mesa Lead You Movement have Moving Ahead Development Agency, mm. you know, Rich Learning Mentorship Program. And you know, like I believe from part one of this discussion, mm. the aim Akorekori, we have to look for solutions. Mm. And we went back to, you know, think on the solutions. Mm. And the solutions are there, um, as we speak right now. And then I did challenge, go, um, when we, have, we come to these kind of engagements, we need to also have men that have, you know, fully participated in abusing women, in, in, in femicide, rape, and all. Mm. And we then went out, we have uh, in, in the we audience, Potitsa Posaka Mela, who I met him when he was still in, in his orange uniform, mm. at Boxburg Prison, and mm. now he's being re uh, be, uh, rehabilitated and mm. integrated back into society. Mm. And he's come out to say, I'm going to tell my story so that we fix this problem. And mm. he has better answers compared to me, who has never killed a woman before. Mm. But currently, I, and I wish for Malumet Serpo to come through and there's a program right now that's that's looking at 100 boys nationwide program teaching these boys to become better men and it, it speaks for itself it says boys to men mm -hmm. and this evening we're going to have a as well as timber scheme gp lukele mm -hmm. we are going to have a dialogue around this issue in, involving the men's, men's forum to you know to come up with solutions because the problems are there we've identified them the solutions are there i mean for what um my, my, my father passed on 2003 but the first time I got to be kissed by another man, it was two weeks ago when um, Tate Patrick Shai, we had a man. And how did your ego handle that? Look, I, 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 it was unexpected. Mm. You know, I was, I was a bit disturbed. Mm. But mm. when um, Tate Patrick Shai came, I mean, I was program directing for an event that was, that was uh, themed Men Under Construction, Men Are Trash. And we went there to admit that we are trash, but we are going to walk out of that conference as men under construction to better ourselves and fix our wrongs. And he came to me and said, no, it's more sunny. And I was a bit disturbed. But after that, it made me feel comfortable. It made me feel appreciated. It's yeah. what we're going sure. to go for a quick air break. When we come back, we're going to carry on the conversation. We're going to carry on the conversation. We're going to carry on the conversation. We're we still going to, as men, hold on to this ego. Please stay with us after the break.
Welcome back to Daily Tetans. This violent nature, broken. broken society. So they're saying, you know what, it's not just us, it's also the women that we have been brought up by. And we need to get a better understanding of how do we move forward. We are joined on the couch by Ntate Max Mpunzana, who's from GCIS. Welcome to Daily Teta. Rako Papa Kurli organized a 100 men march. La March against. Uh, a, a, a woman abuse, I'm assuming. Right, okay, now that you're marching against women abuse, I'm going to be one of you, and I'm assuming you're marching your Kuhore Rivitan as well, but what causes that issue, Yahore? Even when they know who their friend, what they are, what they are, there is not, there's not, none, none of that thing, Yahore, yeah, booty, stop what you're doing. No, um, this match is about building that new awareness that is necessary okay. uh, within communities. Because, uh, as you know, uh, most of the conversation so far has been about the culture that protects mm. uh, even women, mm. perpetuate mm. that. Yes. When your husband beats you up, uh, you, the mother mm. you know, tells you no, stick in there, and all of mm. those kinds of things. So we're trying to get in, into the uh, psyche. Mm. Of, of males. Mm. We want to change the thinking. Uh, what makes you feel, uh, what, what comes into a change of, chain of thought that makes you feel like at some point in the conversation you now have to get physical? Mm. Why don't you seek an intervention elsewhere? Mm. So we want to have these conversations with men. But the most important part of what we're trying to do is we're trying, because most of these people around here are involved in this work mm. uh, as, uh, on a daily basis. Mm. We want to invite CEOs of companies. We want to invite uh, reverends. We want to invite police people. Uh, people even those people who are sometimes not involved in even these politicians. things. Even politicians. Even politicians, mm. parliamentarians, sports people mm. uh, that are not in their daily lives involved in uh, work that has to deal with uh, gender-based violence. Because you see, if you have a, a factory that uh, produces defects, you can deal with those defects. Mm. Uh, why, why, but it will continue to... Why, why 100 men? Why not 200, 300 or 500? No, the essence of the 100 men's match, and, 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 I, and it's an important question because I want people to understand that we're not saying you limit it to 100. Okay. Uh, we're this year as government celebrating uh, the centenary of uh, Nelson, uh, Nelson former President Mandela yeah. and Mama uh, Albertina Su. 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 So yeah. in line with that centen centenary, and you know July is Mandela month, mm. okay. so, so we said it's 100 men for Mandela. Okay, quick, Nicolette, Mama uh, you know, Ma 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 mentioned something, Guti, M. Gagan Jubik, Maybe the way Abakul Sangaban basically is a good in Dota Kali, in Dota NZDC, sometimes you don't even kiss in Dota Nayako as Ubaba. If you are watching a so song is cut now, maybe no lamb was the change of Dota by. I want to come to you to learn a quick one. Should we raise Abantuana betting and Lela Eslugil and Jenga Manje and give them love and show them love? Indeed, Kini. Let me just say this. We live in a society where we focus on. Uh, IQ versus EQ. Mm. And if um, you only develop a child as intelligence, but you don't, you don't develop the emotional intelligence, yeah. you end up with a child that can't deal with emotions. Mm. And it's very important for us to be able to teach our kids emotion. Mm. I mean, I know, as a f uh, I know as a father as well, that if, it, if you don't communicate love to your child, yeah. that, uh, that that child grows up in an environment where they don't understand what love is. Emotional intelligence is very important. Okay. At, at, at often, as my last point, you find that men who beat up their wife and men who do all these sorts of other things, it's because when they are in anger, they don't know how to deal with that anger. Mm, okay, you know what? In the Kulmanjanga Ayanjanga Manje, Manum Tsepo, Bani Kampina Bai Lala Ayanjanga Manje, which is boy to men, a dialogue, a corner that they're busy with. I want to find out, it's almost the same thing as Tulan is saying, good in Fundi, someone best Lisa as well, in the yeah, um, uh, for the past three years, uh, winter, mm. uh, when this equal uh, must fall, yeah. what we do is we take 10 boys from each province. Mm. So this year's now 90 boys. Mm -hmm. And these are boys raised without father figures. Mm. For five days. Mm -hmm. Okay? And then scholars invite different individuals to good bears about the Kulumanabo. As it is uh, this evening, the minister, the uh, minister, uh, minister Susan Shabango, mm. she's actually coming as of her address. Mm. So all uh, Lama issues as Kulumanabo, yeah. see our address because of it. Take it's it's easier to develop a young man 
okay. than to try and fix mm. a broken man. A quick one before I go. Uh, Sia, do you think Uguti, these are solutions as well as Uguti, Sibe Nabantu Besli Sabang Nguyen Aksasa going forward? Yeah, I think, if, as I said earlier, anything that works towards the emancipation of the poor child and changing our, 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 our society, mm. again, all of us, we need to play a role. We must stop pointing figures. We yeah. must stop uh, with excuses. I like what happened here today, but to, to make it clear, it's not excuses. Mm. We need to, again, understand what is the problem. Mm. And I would, I would love it if, moving forward, we deal now with solutions what, mm. what, uh, since we have, we have discovered what Abba the problem is. I want to find out Chabula Church something, right? Hallelujah. Okay. According to the Gospel of Habola Church, according to the Pope T.D. Makiti of Orange Farm, um, the, the, the scripture of Habola Church reads as follows. This we are Bible, not only... This is the Bible or uh, Habula Church scripture? Habula Church scripture. Okay. 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 We are not only supposed not to kill someone else, but we are also responsible to prevent others from harming innocent and even guilty mm. people. Mm. So good people, all the things that I heard of, I've got 31 years in marriage, mm -hmm. 31 years in marriage. Yeah. I never condition my family into being I'm a, I'm a boss in mm. the house. Yeah. Mm. The family, the family mm. is created by God. Okay. I am created by God. My spouse is created by God. Okay. So in mm. everything, mm. that is why Habula Church is there. Mm. Because now we are also uh, uh, converting okay. these people into becoming the better nation of our day. We cannot point uh, uh, finger okay. to our government uh, uh, or point finger to the churches or whatever. Okay. Good people, let us carry on. Let us find the solution on this. Because okay. now... Okay. Come, let's build a back to a couch in, but so Zulu Mono Aqua Kula. No let's problem. go back to the Thank you very much. Quickly, social media from Neria says choose to be a better man irrespective of your background for the sake of your future seeds. Choose to forgive the sake of your healthy being. Stop blaming who orchestrated what, how, and when. It won't take you to being a better man if we are stuck in the past issues that our parents never benefit and they were never, they were never, they were even brutally handled. Choose to be the opposite of what you went through. That Emiloy. How do we get men to ask for help when they need help? For example, the men of track, the men of war, the women what is men. The organization said the treasure money the way the military took a thing. Where we come, Cody Kerkin is not easy. When you talk to men, basadi ba ba jump. Amen. When you hit men, amen. Then let's come to the hood. I see the enemy today. Now men of track come from the same team cool. Now I'm going to do the new matebula. Now I'm going to do the new. I see the name. We need to come and say, we are sorry to every woman who have been abused. Directly. It's mm. not the devil, it's us. Mm. We ask forgiveness on behalf of our forefathers mm. and our fathers who abuse our mothers. Mm. Then we come to that and help our sisters in shortly. When you, you are in a new relationship, you must watch for the red flags. Mm. See that. Mm. Then, sister, ask your husband, did you get help? Mm -hmm. Hamba goma ni yamato tazokche. I want to upload into enzo ngapo under the table. Let's train them when they are young. Masipa kuli se baba na masipa kuli samato. Masipa matala ba kuli kalch. It's not easy. Zulu se si chile kuchol se manzi wenza gala kona ismene njenga leza. I'm sure utiba kona banya magamaro dumte zama lokshini emakaya abaza ma guti ba ke labantu ana abanga na guzaba zaba matota angonyo anaksas. Tomorrow on daily tisa tuba rakau diti ba weni beni lili leme la mewa rau kiri ngi leme la mano rau. What are you speaking? Utile mo jobe ke watu ba la sukwana awar blabla leme labo mewa rona. Thank you very much.